No, 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 Alright, Brandon, let's start this epic video out by talking about why Will Levis should have been a first round quarterback and why you were wrong about Will Levis. I don't want to be unfair to you. You weren't that low on Will Levis. You just had a little bit more reservation, I think, than I did. I was still surprised that he fell out of the first. And he should have gone in the, probably the top ten picks. I'm sure the Raiders are sitting I mean, I'm sure the Raiders are sitting there a little bit regretting their their draft decisions right now. Tyree Wilson looks fucking crap, and Will Levis is who I wanted them to take pretty much the whole entire draft process, so, you know, I should be the Raiders GM and not whoever the fuck it is right now, but that's why he just got fired. I think I felt pretty similarly about Will Levis as I feel about, or as I felt about Anthony Richardson, I, but in different ways. I think I was, I thought Anthony Richardson had a higher floor than a lot of people thought he did, and I, I kind of felt the same way about Will Levis. I always thought that he had enough physical talent to hang around the NFL. I think I told you when I when we watched this tape together, is like I feel like I'm watching Carson Wentz, but I don't know which way it's going to go. Yeah. Is it going to be good Carson Wentz that we saw in Philadelphia his first couple of years, or is it going to be bad Carson Wentz? That's kind of what he did in his first game. He pushed the ball down the field. He made some really good deep shots. He's got an extremely strong arm, one of the strongest arms in the NFL already. He flicks it, and it flies. There were some people who compared him to Josh Allen, <clears throat> Mel Kuyper, who I think is still a little bit off his rocker for the amount of um, blowing he did to Will Levis pre-draft. But I'm sure he's taking a little bit of a victory lap as well because he had, I think, Will Levis' quarterback three, if not two, in the class towards the end. And he's was looking kind of good. Yeah. I, I will say, I don't know about you, you're going to dig into more of the NFL side of things, but I still think that Will Levis has a problem throwing to his closed side. I don't. I think a lot of his big throws came throwing to his right as opposed to his left. I still think his mechanics are a little bit wonky sometimes. But he was just one of those guys where when you saw him in the uniform and you saw him throw the first couple passes, you were like, oh, okay, yeah. That's an NFL quarterback. He's going to be really good. I don't have any problems with him. His deep ball accuracy has been absurd. Absurd. There good. were obviously the huge touchdowns. But there were plays against the Steelers, which they lost, that his receivers really left on the table. There were plays Traylon Burks left on the table in the win. Shocker. Yeah. I am totally blown away by how accurate Will Levis has been. Like, blown away. Like, CJ Stroud levels of blown away. I have to see more, of course, but I feel like through two games, it's been, like, deep dots consistently. And the way that his footwork is so light on the ground where he just flicks it and it goes like 60 yards and it doesn't look like he's trying um, is an elite fucking trade. It looks like Justin Herbert. It looks like Aaron Rodgers when they go deep. It is so smooth. It's been by far the biggest jump that he made from last year to this year. His footwork got a lot better from 2021 to 2022, but it was still super inconsistent. There were still times where you look at his feet last year at Kentucky and think, Jesus Christ, if he doesn't clean this up, he's going to throw 15 picks because he's just going to overthrow people all the time. But my, you're right. His feet look so much better, so much more consistent. He's always throwing from a perfect base. He's really good at resetting his feet. I think one thing that I've noticed about Will Levis that I didn't even think about as something that could translate, but the fact that he had to navigate so many disgusting pockets at Kentucky, so many non-existent pockets, have meant that his pocket presence in the NFL is actually really, really good. Really his pocket, good. His pocket movement is really good. He already has that ability to just kind of twitch his feet a little bit and he moves forward and he escapes pressure. Or to step up and step into a throw and escape pressure. It's something that I think Bryce Young hasn't quite figured out to do. It's something that Anthony Richardson was struggling to do. But it's something that the good rookies like CJ Stroud and Will Levis have been able to do consistently. Is step up into, proc into pressure, reset their feet, and throw from a consistent base. It's what separates the men from the boys in the NFL. It's your ability to navigate pocket and ability to navigate pressure. And Will Levis has already shown that he is really, really good at it. And I think that is a lot to do with just his shitty offensive line at Kentucky. Am I crazy? Has he looked better? Throw Has he shown a full range of throwing across the field? Because I remember when I watched him at Kentucky, his heat map was so much to the right. 
I was that was my biggest concern about him was he wasn't ever going to be able to throw left because he was too fucking muscular and he couldn't twist his body all the way around to throw to his left. I would take him over pretty much any rookie quarterback in the NFL outside of CJ Stroud, just off of current form right now. Um, obviously, Anthony Richardson being injured. Um, he has played extremely well. I'm bullish about the future. I, I am interested to see what he will look like with a better team as well, because we, you kind of mentioned it earlier. That Titans offensive line is not very good. Their offensive weapons pretty lacking. I would be extremely excited to see what the left would look like with a better offensive line and a better cache of weapons around him. I love that he's broken into the NFL and it doesn't look like he has let his slide affect his mentality at all. Like he didn't take any of the criticism that people threw at him in Kentucky. He didn't take any of it negatively. He didn't become more conservative. He didn't try to pander to what people wanted him to be. He just said, I'm fucking mailman and I'm going to fling it down the field like I fucking want to. And it paid off. I mean, four deep touchdowns. I'm looking at his passing chart from that week. What was a week eight game? Every single touchdown he threw was a at least, well, except for one, was at least a 40 yard bomb in the air. Just a long story short, I'm very excited about the future of football like this. But I still think he could have had a very, very strong argument to be the third, fourth quarterback off the board. And he certainly, like, just based on position value, he should have gone in the top to the draft him sliding into the second round was a ridiculous overthink by the NFL. 